In this episode, we're going to be rebuilding a TAS-4 hot end, the Buddha Schnozzle nozzle 2. If you have a TAS-4 or you're just interested in the technology, stick around because we'll be laser cutting some of these parts, tearing it down, cleaning it up, getting it back together so that we can 3D print again. Hey, so a couple of weeks ago, I was 3D printing the rear enclosure on the internet-connected arcade clock, and one of the hot ends on the TAS-4 gave out. Now, upon closer inspection, I realized that there's a buildup of filament material, the heat resistor had failed, some of the heat isolation blocks were cracked from stress or heat, and in general, it was really showing its wear. I've been using these for three to four years. It's really time to restore these. So I've ordered some of the necessary parts from Lulzbot. We're gonna laser cut some of the isolation blocks and restore it to its original condition. Before we can do that, let's take it over the the workbench and tear this down. So disassembly was pretty straightforward. There was just a couple issues with the threaded extension and the nozzle, as we know, was seized on to the heat block. And so this part I'm not gonna disassemble. This is the part that I did replace with new parts directly from Lowell Spot. I have those right here in hand. We're good to go. In addition to the nozzle, the threaded extension, the heat block, we've got a heat resistor and a thermistor. The thermistor is basically the temperature sensor and the heat resistor is the coil that generates the heat for the hot end heat block. In addition to that, we've got a few isolation blocks that were laser cut out of wood. These were broke due to heat stress or the pressure of these three bolts that go through there. But either way, we're gonna recut these on the laser so that we have new fresh parts and then we'll be good to go to reassemble. So let's go down and cut those on the laser first. Right, in front of us we have the fully disassembled hot end. At the right we have the nozzle, the heater block, the threaded extension, all the way up to the lower plate. The lower plate and upper plate were both laser cut. The peak isolator separates the hot end of the tool from the cold end. The cold end is responsible for dissipating the heat before it reaches the mounting plate. And these are aluminum and PTFE heat dissipation spacers and all of those are put onto this PTFE tube. So the filament comes down through the mount plate through the PTFE tube where the heat is dissipated to the peak isolator and the lower block which connects to the threaded extension extension, the heater block, where the heating element and the thermistor is located, and ultimately out the extruder nozzle where the work is done. So that's it. Pretty straightforward. We'll get this fully assembled and then we'll show you the finished product. Alright, so that's it. It was pretty straightforward to assemble the hot end. And if you look at the construction, it's really straightforward. The top mounting plate actually has a hole for the three millimeter filament to go in here. The filament goes down through a PTFE tube where these heat sink washers dissipate the heat. Once it gets down to this stainless steel plate and goes through the lower wooden plate, then it goes through a threaded extension. You see the heater block here and the nozzle. So anything below the lower wooden base plate is considered the hot end. Anything above that is the cold end. That's why you have the dissipation, the PTFE tube to keep the heat away from the mounted side. Now, ultimately this gets attached onto, in this case, a weight extruder which goes on something like that and this gear drive actually feeds the material down into the hot end. It's really straightforward. Although there are tons of different hot ends, they're all built on a similar fundamental. They just have different uh, heating elements and thermistors which is basically how it determines how hot your hot end is. They'll either be axial or radial leads but they ultimately come up and plug into a wiring harness and they facilitate the process of 
extruding the plastic material on your print bed. This is a Lowell Spot Taz 4 Buddha Schnozzle version 2. But there are tons of other hot ends. You can see a few of them here. So plenty of variations. Uh, that said, let's go over to the desk and wrap this up. Hey, so that's all there is to it. This is the final assembly. We got the hot end down here with the weight extruder on top. This is good to go. But we've got two more of these to make and I'm not gonna waste your time because you just saw the process. Hope you had a wonderful holiday and a great new year. Drink a lot, but take an Uber and then come back in 2017 and check out all the cool projects. We're gonna have the laser fully calibrated, Nomad good to go, and the 3D printers back up and running. Stay safe, have fun, I'll see you next year. <laughs>